What's up everybody, David Websay, creativepro.com. And now in this tutorial video, I'm gonna show you how to set up a professional email that's powered by Gmail. So what do I mean by that? I mean like by professional email, I mean something like hello at your website.com. Uh, so you definitely set, can set up a professional email quickly and easily through cPanel. All you do is log in and then find where it says emails and you can create whatever email you want. Hello at your website, your name at your website.com. No problem. But the issue arises like when you want to actually check that email because you're going to have to log into cPanel and you're going to have to go through that email client again. It's not powered by Gmail. So people find that frustrating. They want, they want to know like, well, how do I link it so I can just be logged into Gmail to check my email? Like that's what I want to do. Well, you could sign up with Google Apps, but that costs a monthly fee. And some people, some people are like, oh, I don't want to pay a monthly fee. So is there any other way to do it? Yes, there is. In this tutorial video, I'm going to show you how. So basically what we're going to be doing is we're going to create a professional email account, like hello at our website.com, and we're going to be creating a Gmail account. Now, I highly recommend you create a Gmail account related to your website simply because you're going to be using Google services anyways. You're going to, be, you're going to need a Gmail account to log in to your YouTube channel, AdSense, analytics, all that good stuff. You need a Gmail account anyways, so create a, create a Gmail account that's related to your website. Next, what you're gonna do is we're gonna set up forwarding. So when people email, for example, hello at websitecreativepro.com, all those emails get forwarded to websitecreativepro at gmail.com. Now, the second part I'm gonna show you is like, well, when you're replying to emails, when you're logged into Gmail, like if you're logged into websitecreativepro at gmail.com and I'm replying to an email, how do I make it seem like the reply is coming back from Hello at website creative pro, not website creative pro at Gmail. Because like if people are replying to one email and then they're getting a response from a different email, it's a little bit confusing. So I'm gonna show you how to take care of all the little bits and pieces uh, in this tutorial video. So uh, on one side note is that we are using HostGator on the back end for this tutorial, but it's pretty much the same with any web host that's powered by cPanel. Anyways, if you're ready, let's get into my laptop and begin. Welcome to the video. Now I won't, I'm gonna show you how you can set up a professional email with your uh, web host through your cPanel, and then how you can use Gmail to power that for free without paying the $5 per month. Okay, so step one is get into your cPanel and go to email accounts. Okay, so we arrive here, simply create an email, just follow the process. Uh, I would recommend something like, hi, hello, your name at your domain name, then your password, click on create account, done. Okay, now, okay, now that our email is created, the second step is to go to forwards. So open this up, and you get here to forwards. Now, you have two buttons, add domain forward, add forward. Add, click on this one, add forwarder. So let's just take a look at it, just so you know what it looks like. Email just to forward. I want to email. I want to forward everything that comes to hello at create a website WP. Now, this is the email I just created. This is the professional email I just created. Where do I want it to go? My Gmail or your Yahoo or whatever. But we're going to, I'm assuming that you're using Gmail and that's why you're watching this video. Okay. So look at what I've got. I got an email address. I've got create a website WP and it's forwarding to website creative pro at Gmail. Okay. So I have a professional email address being sent to my Gmail. Okay. That's 50%. You're halfway done. Okay. It's that fast, that, that fast. Just create an email and then set up a forward. So now when anyone sends me an email to hello at create a website WP, it will be directed to website creative pro at gmail.com. It will be directed to a free Gmail account I own. Now, the problem comes when you reply to emails. It'll come from this email, which is not good. Because what if, you're, what if you have your forward email as something like, uh, you know, David loves pancakes at gmail.com. You know, something silly or, you know, it's something that you're not serious with. It's a really a genuine personal email. Um, I'll show you how to change that. So we get into our email, our Gmail, our free Gmail account. We click up here on this little gear and we go down to settings. Okay, we have a whole bunch of options here. The ones we care about is accounts and import. Now we go down to here where it says send mail as. Now this is where we can have um, different emails that we can send email on behalf of. 
So for example, I can send email as website creator pro at gmail or I can send website or I can send email as hello at create website WP. Whoa, 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 whoa. How did I do that? Okay, it's very simple. You simply click on add your email address. Now, what's the email address that you just created? Well, it was hello at create a website. Okay, then just click on next step. What's your username? Well, I don't know. What's your password? Well, I don't know. All right. What you have to do is you have to get back into your settings. So when you're in your, um, not here. Ah, when you're in your email, okay. Go into your email again. Your email counts in your cPanel. Go to here, set up mail client. Okay, when you click on set up mail client, you get to this page. Now this is HostGator. It'll be similar for your web host. What you wanna find are your settings, okay? So right here, username, password, incoming server. It's telling me everything I need to add, okay? So my username is hello at create a website WP. Okay, there's no guesswork involved. It tells you specifically what to add. Hello. Then the email that I used when I created the password. Okay, done. Click add account. No, 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 no. You're not done yet. Now you have to change the outgoing server, not the incoming, the outgoing, okay? Because you're forwarding to this. Now you need to change the outgoing email. You simply go here. Back this up, paste, done. Add account. And you, it tells you exactly what's going on. An email confirmation code was sent to hello at creativewebsitewp.com. Uh, so if I check my mail here, okay, my confirmation code is right here. We would simply highlight this, copy and paste this code in paste then verify and that is it then you'll be able to um, send email as uh, as this as your professional email account through your Gmail okay now one last thing before I go I highly recommend you create a free Gmail account that is your website at gmail.com as you know, as someone who's going to be running a website, you are definitely going to be using a Google service of some sort, be it Analytics, AdSense, Google Search Console. You know, there's so many Google services that you'll be using. So it's a good idea to create a free email that's your website at gmail.com, and it's also helpful just for this reason as well because you can still use Gmail for free without having to pay the five dollars a month and still manage your email that you're getting from your website. Okay, well, that is it for this tutorial video. Uh, thanks for listening and watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ah, okay, sorry, one last thing. Now, once you verify your email, you just go back and set accounts and imports, and right here is where you can make default. Okay, so right now, hello at create a website is default. So if I was to compose an email, it's coming from hello at create a website WP. Okay? All right, that's it. Bye-bye.